Hey there, my name is Ella, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a number. Well, a number like no other, and it's the golden ratio. Okay, so the golden ratio has as a symbol the Greek letter phi, and is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, which is approximately equal to 1.618 0339887498, etc. But we can say that it is equal to 1.618. The golden ratio has the following property. If we multiply it by itself, the result will be the same as if we added 1 to it. In other words, if we multiply 1.618 by 1.618, the result will be the same as if we did 1 plus 1.618, which is equal to 2.618, etc. And here's the proof. Let's just multiply V by itself, and the result is 2.618. Let's move on to the golden rectangle. So the golden rectangle is a rectangle where the length is phi times bigger than the width. The golden rectangle's principal property is that if we draw a square on one of its lengths, we obtain a bigger rectangle that is also a golden rectangle. In fact, imagine that the first rectangle has a width equal to 1 and a length equal to phi. Then, in this case, the bigger rectangle will have a width equal to phi and a length equal to 1 plus phi. However, 1 plus phi is equal to phi times phi. And we can repeat this process by drawing squares on the rectangle's lengths until we obtain this. And the spiral we see over there is called the golden spiral. Oh wait! What makes this number so special compared to any other number? Well, because we found this one in different contexts that seem to have nothing in common, but are all linked to the golden ratio. Furthermore, the golden ratio appears many times in art, architecture, nature, and many other areas. In conclusion, all I can say is that this is mathematical.